Thanks with warmer days ahead, who can blame the box turtles from coming out and showing out in front of West Texans? News West 9's Lily Beth Via shares the do's and don'ts when it comes to spotting one outside. Lily Beth, I hear some people are concerned about just how many they're seeing this year. That's right, Crystal. West Texas is home to the Ornit box turtles, but one museum scientist from Minden says there's different ways to protect the decline of these turtles that simply includes letting them be. It's the crawling critter that pays a visit every spring. We have the ornate box turtle here in West Texas. Michael Nickel with the Sibley Nature Center says you can tell it apart from other turtle species by its movable hands that they've got in the front. And so whenever, uh, and also a little bit of a hinge in the back as well. This is a very cryptic coloration and, and so it blends in very well with the grasses. Though they're often difficult to spot, the ornate box turtles are scuffling their way into plain sight. And so whenever the, the temperatures warm up, and especially if there's any rains that are involved to create little pools of water, that's when you're most likely to see them come out. So a lot of people see these and think it's a lost pet. But the box turtle knows what it needs and how, how to get it. It knows where to find food, where to find water. And so the best thing to do, as long as the turtle's life is not in imminent danger like on a you know like on a busy street or something like that I don't want you to put your life in imminent danger either otherwise the best thing to do is just leave it alone Nickel says these turtles can live up to 70 years maybe longer the Sibley Nature Central Museum scientist says the population of the ornate box turtle that's also native to Texas is slowing down and even on the decline primarily due to habitat loss and how does that tend to happen, especially here in West Texas? Well, all kinds of development going on, whether it be a building of houses or expansion of the city, anything and everything that disturbs the habitat. And they're called the ornate box turtles because... Whenever they feel threatened, they can pull their head and front legs in and their back legs and tail in and just shut the door. But it doesn't mean they belong inside a box at home. They are an important uh, wildlife species, uh, uh, just like any other type of animal that's native here. And so uh, uh, they have a place out there in nature. And if you do come across a box turtle that could use a helping hand, Nicole says it's important to not eat or drink until you wash your hands. In the meantime, if for whatever reason one does end up crawling to your outside space, enjoy the view and let it go about its business.